Rox, and this is my first video ever. Uh, I'm starting up a new channel, uh, as advised by everyone, friends, family, boyfriend, uh, <laughs> work colleagues, and I'm gonna talk to you about, and with you obviously, about astrology as you probably realized already because the name of the channel is written in the stars so this is just a bit of an intro so that, that you can find uh, some more about myself and what I'm doing for a living because I I've been doing astrology for for quite a while now so I'm based in London but I come from Romania uh, I've only moved here for a couple of years and I work in social media uh, I, I, I do that uh, at an agency and it's a very, very uh, interesting uh, domain and field and it's on the rise and I just love it. Why did I start learning astrology and how did I become interested in it? Well, to be honest, I was a bit of a skeptic like most people I know around me. Oh, so it's got something to do with horoscopes and with your sun sign and what you read in newspapers and magazines. No. Nothing at all. Well, uh, not necessarily nothing at all, but if you think of astrology uh, as some sort of menu when you go to a restaurant, I can tell you this. The horoscopes that you read in magazines and newspapers are just a cheeseburger on the menu. So um, the reason why I started learning astrology was because I wanted to test it to see if it works, if there's any sort of nugget of truth in into it and guess what there is um I, i've seen this for for a few years now and it works so that's all i've got to say to you don't ask me why don't ask me how this universe has got so many secrets that we can't even fathom basically so yes astrology does work why and how does astrology work well, I've got to say, I don't have the answer. I don't think anyone on this planet has it. If we did, basically, I think we'd have we'd have the answer to all a human humankind's questions. But I can tell you this: it's been with us for thousands of years. Um, kings, uh, monarchies, dynasties, uh, very learned people have resorted to astrology when they were in dire straits. So kings would go to astrologers to find out when was the best time to invade a country or start a new war or stay put. So basically, as the, the, the underlying principle of astrology is, as above, so below. So whatever happens in the universe has to be reflected on planet Earth. Well, in a nutshell. <laughs> Uh, why I decided to start this channel about astrology, well, uh, I'm going to put it simple, because all my predictions, all my readings, all the birth charts that I did uh, for people close to me, for friends, for people I, I, had no, I had never met before, they were pretty accurate, <laughs> I've got to say. So if I see things, uh, I don't see why I couldn't share them with you guys. So yeah, that's why I started uh, this channel. Um, I want to tell you that uh, this is not going to be your uh, regular forecasting uh, horoscope type of channel because YouTube is filled with that, that sort of uh, videos. What I'm mostly interested in is, in is um, the psychological aspects of astrology. So uh, I think we haven't uh, cleared this up yet. but. Uh, the astrology that, that I'm talking about and the astrology that I've learned is Western astrology. Eastern astrology is a totally different realm. Well, not not entirely different, but the different the main difference between Eastern and Western astrology is the fact that Eastern astrology is mainly concerned with predictions, whereas Western astrology is very interested and delves deep into the psychological aspect of astrology and sun signs and the zodiac and yep that's what i'm going to be talking to you about so as i've said this is not going to be your regular forecasting type of uh video um i will deal with each and every sun sign individually 
as well as aspect, as well as human relations, how we can deal with people uh, belonging to a certain uh, zodiac sign. So every zodiac sign uh, has certain features, certain uh, qualities, uh, certain not so positive necessarily traits, but I've got to say this, every single human being um, at, at their birth um, has had a unique um, sky uh, footprint. So the sky and the astrological birth chart is divided like a pie in 12 different sections. And depending on where the planets were situated at the time that, that someone was born, um, someone, a person is born and has some native uh, characteristics uh, that come from different uh, signs of the, of the zodiac. So basically, I, I've told you this before, I'm an Aquarius, but my rising sign is Cancer, whereas my moon is in Capricorn. I know, I know, it's a, a, a very unusual combination. Um, so basically, it's very hard to tell that someone is like this or like that to pigeonhole a person based on their sun sign. Um, because we are much more complex than we would even imagine, uh, even from, an, uh, from only an astrological point of view. So what I'm interested in and what I'm gonna talk to you about, guys, is all the different facets of human personality according to uh, the zodiac signs, okay? Um, something else that I'm going to talk to you about uh, is how we can deal with different people based on their different traits, how you can tell if someone's got uh, certain characteristics um, that belong to uh, a sun sign, for instance, Aries, which is impulsive, which is proud, which is the leader, um, which uh, doesn't have that much patience with anyone at all, <laughs> gets bored quite easily. Uh, you can tell by the way someone acts that they've got these Aries features. So this is something that we will look into and we'll talk about how we can interact with this type of people on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, love and human relationships. We all want to know how to seduce our uh, crush, how to get along better with, uh, the pers with our partner, with someone that maybe we dream of secretly. Yes, that can be done. I have to tell you this. If you, if you dig a bit deeper into someone's chart, I'm not saying go you know, ask people, oh, what time were you born at? But well, if you can do that, that would obviously help. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to look into uh, human relationships as well. Uh, not necessarily uh, love relationships, romantic ones, but also between um, employers and employees or uh, relationships within a family, how um, the paternal figure, which is not necessarily your father, uh, expects someone to treat him and treats you back. So what I'm trying to say here is that we're going to learn a lot about each other based on astrology, okay? So guys, thank you for listening to me. Uh, as I've said, this was just a short intro, but I'll be back with uh, some more goodies, uh, astrology, uh, well, words of wisdom uh, quite soon. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week.